Hi, Donald here with Floating Feathers Kayak Fly Fishing School with another tips and tricks for kayaking and kayak fly fishing. And today we are talking about what to do with your phone when you are out on the water. Now there are a lot of, a lot of places where you're gonna need, you know, to take your phone to take pictures of fish, um, tournaments, um, you just wanna have it out, scenery, things like that. That's great. There are some tether devices that work really, really well to tether your device to your PFD or something like that. Um, when you're not going to use it, uh, when I'm not taking pictures or even when I'm getting ready to take a picture, until I'm ready to take a picture, I use two Ziploc baggies or the equivalent of Ziploc baggies, right? Storage baggies. I actually like the freezer um, bags because they're thicker. Um, they hold up a little bit better and they just work a little bit better. So I just pop the phone in there. Um, this is, happens to be a quart, uh, depending on your phone size. You may need a quart, a pint, um, and a pint will usually fit today's modern phones. It fits my uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max, um, even with the case on it. So I just double zip them, just like this. Um, I leave a little bit of air in there, so that if it drops, it floats, um, and that's the way I protect my phone. So if I get ready to take a picture, it may take a couple seconds to get it out. Um, it's, not a, it's not that big a deal. Take your phone out, take the picture, Drop it back in the bag and you're done. Now, same way with my keys, right? When you're on the water, you gotta get back to your truck. And today, most of today's modern keys have you know, a key fob on it. So you're gonna need to protect those. So again, drop them in there, fold it over, zip lock it or, or close it. I always double bag them. Um, double bagging seems to be a little peace of mind, um, but it works. Uh, keys are got some sharp points on them. Uh, again, a little air in there so it floats if you drop it overboard. Um, and that's it. How to keep your phone dry, how to keep your keys dry when in the kayak. Now, um, if you have some type of storage pockets or storage area alongside, the, say, the side of the boat, that's great. Um, I also like to put my phone in my PFD along with my keys in my PFD so that if I get separated from my kayak, I still have my phone and I need to call for an emergency um, and I still have my keys if I can make it back to the truck. So I don't like to put it in the kayak Now that's up to you. I like to keep it on me in my PFD at all times. Um, so that's, that's it, um, pretty easy tips and tricks. Uh, so I thank you all for watching and we're gonna continue this tips and tricks series uh, for as long as we can. Again, Donald with Floating Feathers Kayak Fly Fishing School and thank you all for watching. See you next time.